Um, second story I want to get to is uh, Boris Johnson pledging uh, 160 million to offshore wind farms. The point of this um, is to bring us towards a, a greener, like more renewable energy, and and this is the way that he thinks it can be done, or or you know one of the the main ways it can be done. Um, increasing the, um, the capacity to, I believe it's something like uh, 40 gigawatts or terawatts um, by 2030. So basically there'd be enough power in theory to uh, power all homes in the UK by the year 2030. Um, there's a couple of issues with this. Um the first part is when you actually get to the money, like when you hear 160 million, you think, wow, that's, you know, that's serious. That's, that's a lot of money. Um, but if you look at uh, one of the most recent projects was the Hornsea uh, wind farm, which is off the, uh, off the Yorkshire coast. Um, the budget for that was 4.2 billion. Minimum 4.2 billion. <laughs> so so when you say uh, 160 million you know even if you were talking about you know one new project one new offshore farm um you'd be talking about you know 25 26 times that amount for you know for a single project um there's a few other things with wind farms as well which um you know everyone kind of wants a greener world and and you know we we know that we need to to make some sort of changes but um one of the big things is that, you know, this it says that that energy is actually coming in a lot lower than expected, and actually will be cheaper than uh, the nuclear energy or gas-powered energy. Like actually coming in lower than some of the wholesale energy prices right now. Um, but it's a bit misleading because actually a lot of these prices that are being uh, that are being quoted by these companies who are going to do these things does not include a connection to the power grid. Um, and there's, uh, you know, there's a, obviously projects have gone on elsewhere, but it's that distance, it's the distance that those wind farms are from the power grid, which means obviously, you know, a lot of work to go into that. Um, when you look at the costs, there was one in Germany that was, I think, 120 kilometres from, from shore that was uh, came in, at a budgeted cost of 690 million. So, you know, there's, there's some hidden costs there. And as great as it sounds, um, you know, it's the end consumer that pays for that. You know, it's always the way. Um, you know, it's it's funny when you see things like, and it's always from the left, things like, oh, free tuition and free this and, you know, free, free things for everybody. And um, the thing that a lot of people miss is that it's not free there's nothing free nothing is ever free um you know the taxpayer it's us that are paying for these things and it's the consumer that pays for these things um so it'd be interesting to see if they actually come out with more details of you know how that's going to work how they're going to roll it out um and if they've got any idea of like the environmental impact on that as well um one of the things that I did see was was something to do with, um, you know, we can get all these turbines built. They're getting bigger. They're getting more efficient, which is great. Um, but uh, the theory is that there'd be a greater supply of turbines than there is a supply of vessels. So we wouldn't actually be able to get the damn things out there. Uh, so, yeah, interesting to see how, how that would go and if... Uh, you know, if if they can uh, actually put something serious in place, 